Ayo, hey duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this one is super nifty. When I'm showing people my desktop, and I want to kind of show you something that's on the right-hand side of the screen, my camera's in the way, when I move my mouse over there, it automatically moves my webcam. I'm not pressing any hotkeys here or anything. If I move it over to the left, it'll move my camera over to the right-hand side. It's an automatic way of moving your camera if you want to show your viewers something that is behind your camera. Super easy to do with this easy install. Let's get into it. Put your rocket to the stone. Let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV is the only place you guys need to go for all your streaming related needs. Owned is the largest streamer shop worldwide and they have absolutely everything. Complete overlay packages, stinger transitions, emotes, badges and many, many more. You can even save yourself a cheeky 50% off anything using my code Andy50 and each purchase will go to supporting me on this channel. I'll leave all the links in the description. Thank you very much, duckies. Right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two methods of doing it. One with StreamerBot and one with Leoran Buzz. So you'll need either one of those two programs to make this run. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to get it set up inside of OBS to start with. So in OBS just here, I've got a blank scene. It doesn't have to be a blank scene. I'm just showing you as an example. This can be on an existing scene already. And I've got my webcam just here. Doesn't matter if it's a nested scene or anything like that. It's just whatever you want to move when your cursor goes over that direction. And what I've set up is some filters. So on my scene, if we go to filters, you will see I've got two move filters that I've already set up. So I've used the move source um, filter from the move transition plugin uh, from Exceldro. And when I move it left, and want to move it right you guys have probably got that basics already set up if you've been watching these videos so that is all we're going to be using in this tutorial just two different filters so the first method i'm going to show you is using leoran so we're going to jump to this website which we've got all the information on which is on the stream up website i'm going to leave the link in the description so don't worry about that we've got the streamer bot one at the top and we've got leoran at the bottom so you can triple click inside this little window and it'll highlight all of the information. We're gonna right click and press copy. And then we can go to uh, OBS and Leoran board, open up any deck you want, it's completely up to you. And we're gonna right click and press import JSON. And when you'll get this little camera auto move, all the information is there. The next thing we need to decide is how we want to trigger this button to start running. So I like to have it on all the time. So the way that I do that is I right click and I go to Twitch Triggers, and I press the plus sign, and I go to Extension Trigger, and depending on which one you want, you can have it on um, exclamation mark transmitter always, which is like this, um, if I can type it, always, which means anytime that your transmit is like connected, or, or you could use something like exclamation mark reinitializing, there's a lot of different ones, you can read that in the readme of Leoran board, so I'm going to press done for now. And that just means anytime that I refresh Leoran board or anything like that, it will activate the button. So now we need to configure the button to make it work. We're going to right click and go to edit commands. And the only ones that we need to mess around with are all the ones that are in capital, basically. So don't worry about all the little ones at all, unless you kind of know what you're doing. This is just going to get the it working for the beginners. So the first thing we need to do is select the camera scene. So whatever scene the camera's on. So I'm going to select scene because that's what it was called. It was just called scene. And we're going to select the camera source, which is called webcam. And we're going to leave the variable called current cam position X because we're pulling the X coordinate. So now this is where we need to pull what the left position coordinate for our camera is. Okay, so we're going to go back into OBS. We're going to open up our filters on the scene again and move the source to the left. And we, there's a few ways we can find out the, the exact positions, but the way that I like to do it is if you click on the source and press Control E, it'll bring up the transform menu. So you can see it's actually 36. The, the X position is 36. So that's the number we need for the Orange board. So open the Orange board, get rid of this information in here, and we're going to type in 36. So this basically says if the current cam position is equal or less than 36, then it's going to run these next set of actions. So the next one that we need to do is find out 
where we want our mouse to be for the camera to move. So I'm only showing you left and right right now. So I'm only going to be using the X coordinate, but I've left the mouse Y coordinates in there in case you want to move it top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right, and go more in depth with it. So we need to find out the coordinates of where my mouse is on screen when I want it to activate, okay? So the way that I can do that is if I jump out of here, so I'm going to press done, press done again, press tab whilst in the orange board and type in mouse underscore you'll see we've got the y and x coordinate every time i move my mouse around so i'm going to say when my mouse gets to about here so about 500 i want it to move okay and you can do that with the y coordinate as well uh, so i'm going to go back into there press edit commands refill this out that i accidentally deleted like an idiot uh, and we're going to remove this information in here and we're just going to type in 500. So this now says if the mouse X position is equal or greater than zero and it's also equal or less than 500, then we're going to tell our camera to move to the right hand side. So now we need to choose the camera scene again. So it was called scene and we also need to choose the filter. So we want to move it to the right. So we're gonna press move right. So if I zoom out now, press done, press done again. If I move my cursor to the left hand side of the screen, you'll see it automatically moves that camera to the right hand side. So now we just need to repeat the exact same process for the right hand side. Cause right now, if I move the camera, uh, the, the mouse to the right, nothing's happening. So if I go back into my new deck and edit the commands at the button, you'll see we've got extra options at the bottom again. So now we need to do exactly the same. Current camera position for the right hand side position. We're in the right hand side position. This is 1,318. So we're just gonna paste 1,318 directly into there, just like we did before. So now we need the mouse X coordinate again for when we want it to move to the left. So we're going to go back out of the orange board, press done, done again, press tab, and we type in mouse. And again, we can see the mouse coordinates. So I'm just going to zoom out. And you, if I move my cursor, I'm going to say on the, the display right now, we're probably about there. So 1,900 ish. So it depends what size your um, webcam is going to be inside of OBS and everything like that. But remember, we are not talking about on the canvas here. We're talking about the actual display size. So it's going to be different to what's on your canvas, okay? So I'm going to say 1,900. So I'm going to go back into it, edit the commands, and type in 1,900 into that box. And because I'm using a 1440p monitor, that's why the, the top end, because that's the edge of my monitor size, because that's what my monitor is, because you need to work in relation to your monitor and not your OBS canvas size. Uh, and then finally, we get the filter change. So we're gonna choose the scene again that we're on and tell it to move left. Even though I've left right in there, don't, don't, nah, move it left because we want it to do the opposite step. So now we'll press done, press done again. And now when I move my cursor over to the right hand side, it'll move left, move it over to the left hand side, it'll move right and I can do that as much as I want it'll constantly do it pretty much instantly as soon as I move the mouse which is a nice little touch it's super super easy to do and obviously you can use different coordinates for x and y so like I say you can have multiple positions depending on where your camera is you might have to work out the differences if you're like you're using a 4k monitor but only a 1080p canvas. So you might need to work out the, the kind of math and work out where your mouse is in relation to the screen where the camera is. That was a mouthful. But next up, let's show you how to do it inside of StreamerBot. So we're gonna go to the same website where we got the uh, information before. This is the, the thing we're gonna copy. It might be slightly different when it is released, but we're just gonna triple click in there, right click and copy it, okay? And then we're gonna open up StreamerBot. So I'm using a blank version of StreamerBot right now, but don't worry, uh, yours can be as full or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just as long as you've got the latest updated version of StreamerBot, which at the moment is 0.1.6. So I'm going to pull OBS up as well, just so we've got the uh, OBS ready and we've got StreamerBot ready too. So to get this working, we're on, on the Actions tab in StreamerBot and we're going to right click and press Import. And we're just going to paste that string of characters just in there. If it doesn't show up like this with the auto move camera, you might have an 
added space at the end so just delete that off and it should work and it'll pop up there once they're all selected as they will be by default just press import and we will have added four different actions a simple one for moving the camera left a simple one for moving the camera right but these will need to be edited to whatever you're going to be using so you might already have your movement things so you can delete these completely and use your other actions if not on the camera left we're just going to double click on the filter on the right and we're going to select our obs that we're in the scene that we're on and we're going to have the camera moving left so i'm going to move source left press ok and we're going to do the same for the right one as well we double click into there select what scene we're on and also move the the source to the right press ok so now they're both set up ready for the movement to happen now we need to do the technical bit of working out where the mouse is and also have it so it automatically moves so the first thing that i want you to do is go to hotkeys and we're going to set up a hotkey um just here so i already have one set up so right click and press add and it'll bring up this menu select any hotkey you want you're only going to be using this temporarily to get the mouse position so it's easy for you to work out so i'm using Control f1 once you've selected whatever you want to use Go to action and the action that we're going to be pressing is stream up tools get cursor position press select press ok and then now anytime we press ctrl f1 don't do it yet it's going to run get cursor position so now we're on get cursor position we need to go into the find cursor position command on the right double click into it and we need to compile it you're probably going to get an error like this that's absolutely fine we just need to go to references just here and we're going to right click and press add reference from file and in here you'll be able to see you see this system dot drawing we just need to add that so if you go down to this bottom bar and type in system dot drawing dot dll you'll see the option to select it just click that and press open and then now when you go back to compiling log and press compile again it'll say compiled successfully so just press save and compile that is done next up you'll see this section here this is going to execute the argument viewer this is going to allow us to sh see exactly where our mouse is on the screen so when we're all completed and we've set everything up to how we want it we need to delete that okay but right now just leave it as it is next up set the argument command up so if we go into this uh, argument viewer and then into the code again we need to press compile you'll see we have an error there's nothing to worry about there we're going to go to references again we're going to right click and go to add reference from file again and you'll see we need to add system drawing so that's one that we need to add we need to add system dot oops system dot drawing dot dll press open the next one we need to add so we right click and press add reference again is system uh, itself so if we just type in system dot dll it'll come up there that we can select and press open so that's added that one and there's one more that we need to add so add reference once more and we're going to type in system.windows.forms.dll we're going to select that one and press open again and then now go back to the compiling log, log and press compile and it should say it's compiled successfully press save and compile and that is it we're ready to go so i'm going to zoom out and now when i press the hotkey that i created earlier anywhere where my mouse is on screen so basically when my mouse on the left hand side of the screen we want the camera to move right so i'm going to say roughly when my mouse gets to about this point on my screen so not on my canvas on my actual display resolution so i'm going to press my hotkey which was Control f1 and it's going to bring up this arguments viewer that silverlink made for stream up and you can see it's pulled my cursor information i can see where my mouse is in regards to my display's resolution i'm using a 1440p monitor so you can see on the left hand side my cursor is around 500 pixels in from the left so i'm going to use that as my number okay so i'm going to close this down now and go back to get cursor position and go to edit these commands so we've got this little section here that says uh, this command if is an if statement so we're going to double click into that so if cursor x is less than i said 500 because that was roughly the the correct amount 
then it's going to run the action move camera right or whatever action you want it to do if you're using a different action and then breaks so that means it will cease everything else that it's doing so it won't accidentally do two moves or anything like that so you can see there if cursor x is less than 500 then do move camera right and then break press ok and that's all set up now so now we need to do the exact same thing for when the camera is on the right hand side of the screen so i'm going to move my mouse all the way to the right hand side where I roughly i think it is i'm going to go just about there and i'm going to press Control f1 again the the hotkey that i got set up so you can see my cursor x and y positions again just here so i'm going to choose 1900 just around it so i've got a little bit of leeway again you can edit these at any point so i'm going to close down and remember 1900 go into the get cursor position again and choose this bottom command so if the cursor x is greater than we said 1900 we're going to move the camera to the left just here so you can see if cursor x is greater than 1900 then do move camera left and break press ok and that is it everything's set up for this camera now to move automatically it won't work straight away so you can see my mouse is moving to the left and the right because we've not set it up to work automatically first thing to do is now delete the execute method press yes and you can delete that comment in there as well otherwise every time that this triggers it will bring up that menu saying where the position of the mouse is and that will be annoying trust me <laughs> so now we need to set it up we can delete the hotkey if we want to to clean everything up so we delete that hotkey and we're going to go to now settings and go to timed actions so this is automated actions inside of streamerbot we're going to right click and press add so the name we're going to say um, check camera uh, position. You can call it anything you like. And we're going to enable it and repeat it. And we're going to do it every one second. Uh, lines leave to zero because that's how many chat lines. The action we're going to select is get cursor position. Press select. Press OK. And that is it. This is now running. So now if I move my mouse to the left hand side of the screen... You'll see we automatically move to the right. If I move to the right hand side of the screen, automatically move to the left. And I do that as much as I want. And that is pretty much it. I really hope this video has helped you out. I know it's a little bit of a niche type thing, but I've seen many streamers out there that accidentally cover stuff up with a webcam and don't think to move the webcam out of the way. But it'd be nice to just have this running automatically in the background so it automatically does it for you. And that's it from me. If you want to support me, then consider joining Patreon. Thank you to all these people here. Absolute wonderful people. I don't know what I'd do without you. And if you want your name up there, then consider joining from £1 a day or joining YouTube memberships as well. That does help support me making this content full time for you guys. And check out some of these awesome videos, all right? And they will elevate your stream. Put your rock with the stone. See you later.